This Gulf of Mexico surf forecast video update brought to you by Fluid Surf Shop, Fort Walton Beach. Visit them at fluidsurfshop.com. Here's the latest look at the Gulf of Mexico this morning, and as oftentimes happens when you have these broad areas of low pressure, you get several areas of some cyclonic spin, and what happens is sometimes the stronger one will take over uh, from the weaker one, and they'll consolidate into one cyclonic feature. It looks like this is what may be happening now. Um, the first area of spin we have is along the Texas coast. As as you can see there's a little bit of cyclonic flow right in here along the coastline now this is pushing off and is going to get over open water but because it looks like the weaker of the two where the strong convection is actually up here northwest of the yucatan peninsula and as you can see this is where all the convection is and if this starts to get a little closer to this cyclonic spin in here this could become the main feature Here's what it looks like in the rainbow imagery. And as you can see, convection is building and it's all aiming at a certain point right in here. Look how it's all stretching. The, the area that's off to the east is wanting to build back towards the west. The area that's to the north is wanting to build back towards the south. The area to the south is wanting to move up towards the north. So it's all converging into one area in here. And if this little low pressure system that's off the Texas coast can tuck itself up underneath that, we could see a closed low develop in here and could see a tropical storm develop rather quickly. And lastly, looking at the water vapor imagery, you can see that the water vapor just explodes and is trying to explode towards a center. So keep an eye on the forecast, guys. This looks like uh, it could be a threat towards the northern Texas coast into Louisiana. We hope to have a little update for you again this afternoon based on what this actually does. Stay tuned to the forecast.